Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to execute Python program using system prompt. Before start our discussion, try to recall what we discussed in our last video that is lecture 4. How to use help method, how to install packages like numpy, pandas, matplotlib, how to verify installed packages, what is python ideally, what is the difference between python command line and python ideally, how to execute multi-line program using ideally. After watching this video, you will be able to know how to execute python program using system prompt. So in our last video, we discussed two methods. First one is execute the python program using command line. And we discussed the second method also execute python program using the IDLE. In that, we discussed how to execute python program line by line and how to execute multi line program also using the IDLE. The third method how to execute the python program using system prompt. In this video, we are going to know this third method. Let us start. So first step in this method is, first you need to take any text document like notepad or edit plus, notepad plus plus, uh, depends on your convenient. So here, I am creating a new text document that is notepad document. After creating this, open that and write the program in this text document. So I am using the same code what we have taken in that last video. Just to finding the sum of two numbers. I explained this complete program in the last video. If you didn't watch that, please watch that and continue this video. After writing the program, Click on the file and click on save as. Then select the location where you want to save your file. Now I want to save my file in local disk D that is the D drive. Then file name, give the file name appropriate file name. Requirement of this program is to find some of the two numbers. So give the suitable name is suggestible method. So I am giving the name as sum dot py is compulsory that is the extension of python file and then you can observe here we have save as type click here you must select all files otherwise this python file also treated as a normal text file if you select all files then this python file treated as a python coding file not a normal text file after selecting all files click on save button now your program has saved. This is how to create a text file, how to write the code, how to save the file. The next step is how to execute this. As we discussed here, we are trying to execute our program using system prompt. Then open the system prompt. In the last session, we discussed how to open system prompt. For that, we need to type in the search box CMD and click on open. So you can observe here, this is the system prompt environment or you may use this is command line environment. Then now I want to execute my program. But here very very important point is, first we need to change the path where we saved our file. We saved our file in the D drive, but now the current location is in the C drive. So first we need to change the drive where you saved your file. We saved our file in the D drive. To change that drive, we need to type your destination drive name that is D and colon. Then press enter button. Now we are in the D drive. Just to check it out, our file is available or not in the D drive. For that, the command we need to use is dir directories. All the directories and files will be displayed. Now observe, here we have our file sum.py. Now we are going to type the syntax to execute Python program. The syntax to execute the python program is python space file name. What is our file name? Sum. 
and the extension is dot py python space your file name dot py then press enter now see this is the output of this program sum of a and b is 30 okay this is how to execute a python program using system prompt to exit from this system prompt type exit and press enter button so as of now we covered all the three methods now check your knowledge please pause the video and try to give the answer for these questions if you are not able to give the answer for these questions watch the video again what is the extension of python program file how to open system prompt what is the syntax to execute python program using system prompt if this video is useful to you subscribe the channel watch and share with your friends thank you